Hey everybody, welcome back to Cycle Fab. I'm Larry. Uh, I have a really interesting video for you today, a really good one, because it's in response to questions that was asked. And I love answering questions. The question was, what do I use as a powder coat stripper? And I'm more than happy to answer that. I use this right here. Clean Strip Premium Stripper. Now, the reason why I use this instead of using methylene chloride is cost. Yeah, methylene chloride is really expensive if you can get it. Now, methylene chloride is not for the retail industry. In other words, uh, just regular people cannot go to the hardware store and get it anymore. That's what they used to put in paint strippers. Uh, but, you know, not anymore because... And it's, it's dangerous, really, if, you, if it's used improperly. But it's also very expensive now. I mean, I can get it. Uh, if you have a business, you can get it. But five gallons of it costs like, I don't know, four to six hundred bucks. I do know for a fact that 55 gallon drums of it are a grand. Uh, it's not a little bit more, but that's okay because I found something that works not as good, but good enough for what I need. And a lot of you DIY guys out there for what you need. So I want to get on explaining how I do this. Now I've got this uh, leg right here. It, I shot a video earlier today and it was great. Turned out wonderful. I didn't have my audio on. So you'll have you'll see clips of me going back and forth. My lips will be moving, but it won't be matching up to the voice. That's the reason why. Anyway, I stripped this. Uh, its sister is in the back right now being stripped. Uh, this stuff works fantastic. It's just if you've got the time for it to work. Now, I put this in at 8 o'clock last night, and I pulled it out at 8 o'clock this morning. And it, within a few minutes of me putting it into this little makeshift bat, it, the paint, or the powder coat started coming off or wrinkling up anyway. Now that's after about 15 to 20 minutes. Now here's a shot of it after about three hours. It's really starting to come off. Now I don't know the exact amount of time that you need to leave this stuff in there for it to work thoroughly. What I do is at the end of the day, if I have something I need to strip, then uh, submerge it, shut the shop down, come back the next day and bam, it's done. And when I say done, I literally mean done. You can see here me pulling it out of the vat and this powder coat literally falls off. I mean, it's just oozing, falling off. Okay, uh, that, that's enough said right there. Now, you do need, you know, a wire brush. Of course, you need rubber gloves, you know, eye face protection. The vapors off of this are not that bad. They're not near as bad as methylene chloride. Uh, they do say use it in a well-ventilated area, of course. And as far as cleanup goes, that's even easier. Uh, it's just cold water. That's all I use. Now, you can buy some stuff from Clean Strip that's called, oh yeah, After Wash. And uh, I think it's like $9 a gallon. It, you know, you don't need it. Uh, you can use mineral spirits also. But... Really, cold water works just fine. It neutralizes that stuff. Um, at least I can't feel it on my hands anymore. And it cleans up just fine and dandy, really. So I just want to answer these questions for all of you out there uh, about, you know, what I use and, you know, where to find this at. Uh, by the way, there'll be a link down below. I got this at Lowe's. You can get it anywhere, uh, probably even Walmart. But I'll put links down below for it so, you know, you can find it. Now, I do not get paid by Clean Strip, nor do I get paid by Lowe's or Walmart or anybody else. Well, I do get paid by Walmart. But anyway, there will be links down below, you know, so you can find this if you want to use some. Uh, it's, it's great to use. Here's a screenshot of it. Uh, it's 55 to 56 bucks. I mean, yeah, it's a little expensive, but not near as expensive as methylene chloride is. Now, you can see me cleaning the rest of this off with a wire brush. It does not require a lot of scraping. The wire brush is basically just to wipe it off. Uh, like I said, it's been sitting in there for uh, 12 hours, which is a, yeah, a little excessive. You probably don't need to leave it in there longer than six or four hours, I should say. And it, it would probably work just fine. 
Now, you gotta realize this is just a single coat of powder coat that I put on here. Doing two layers or three layers, uh, that's gonna take a little bit longer and a lot more elbow grease. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, then go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and go ahead and hit that notification bell too so you know when my next video is coming out. Now, I need to make something perfectly clear to you guys. Uh, this only works like this if it's in a bat. In other words, if it's completely submerged. If you try to just brush this on and say, okay, that's good, and walk away from it, th that's not gonna cut it. It is not gonna work that way. I've tried it, nah, -uh. no, it, it really doesn't do much of anything. So you do have to make some kind of little bat for whatever parts, whatever size of part you're doing and submerge it in that. Uh, if you're really wanting to you know, have a that bat set aside for whatever size parts you may get. Uh, you might want to buy invest rather into you know four three gallons of this and build a bat, fill it up with this stuff, and just keep it there like that. Uh, it, it's reusable. I mean, I don't just use it one time and throw it away. Not at fifty five dollars a gallon. So it's very reusable, and which is good. Now, what I want to show you guys now is me scrubbing this down and the amount of, or the not really amount of effort that it took to do so. Uh, like I said, this stuff just comes right off. Uh, that's after leaving it in a vat for 12 hours. And go ahead and take a look at it and you'll, you'll see what, it doesn't take that much to get this powder coat off. Not after it's been, you know, in a vat of this clean strip. I'm very, very satisfied with clean strip. Uh, and the neat thing about it, you can buy it in one gallons, and you can buy it from a retail store. So anytime you need it, it's readily in stock, readily available. Uh, I'm surprised that it costs fifty-five dollars, but hey, you know everything's expensive nowadays. Uh, that's just the way it goes. But at least it's not, you know, four or six hundred dollars for five gallons of the stuff uh, which is you know kind of insane really but yeah it just comes right off no problem whatsoever i appreciate all of you who tune in and watch my channel on a regular basis i have over 1600 subscribers right now and i do appreciate that from the bottom of my heart especially all you guys who keep tuning in week after week after week now i put out two videos a week or i'm trying to put out two videos a week so far it's, i've been able to do that every Wednesday and every Saturday. They air at seven o'clock on Wednesdays and eight o'clock on Saturdays. So please tune in, join me. Maybe you'll learn something, maybe I'll learn something. Maybe you'll see me screw something up, which I have done before. So anyway, thanks guys for tuning in and I will see y'all next week. Bye now.